Oh, sorry about that. It's Saturday night. Welcome aboard. Motor, murder, motor, blah, blah, blah. Motor. <laughs> motor Home Inc. Uh, motor Home Inc. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. We had a little bit of technical difficulties. Uh, welcome aboard for tonight's one shot. Uh, we appreciate you joining. If you've been here before, we want to kick off or cat, blah, blah, the away. other one. Wow. It's, been a, it's been a long week. Uh, Cathaway. We're going to Cathaway tonight. Uh, you all know about UCFC. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool shit like the shirts, uh, the phone cases, the bath towels. No shit. We got beach towels, too. Uh, check out the link down below. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on a one shot or you want to be on the talk show, Hit us up at M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail, and we will get you on here. Uh, we're missing one player, uh, but you know what? Yeah, we'll make do. Uh, if you're in the market for dice, who isn't, uh, and you want some custom dice like old Big Red here, uh, check out Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice. Uh, they make custom dice. And if your game stinks, unlike ours, because ours smells like success, uh, try yourself some adventure scents from oddfishgames.com. They have over 60 cents, not including their specialty ones. Uh, reasonably priced, uh, exceptionally worth it. Uh, the half-life on these things is forever. I, I, I told them they're, they're killing us, but uh, you know what? They're great. So go to oddfishgames.com, pick some of those up. Uh, they also make something called the Shine System. So if you want to write adventures like me, only gooder, check that out. They are feverishly working on making sure their Kickstarter How to RPG with Your Cat is fulfilled. So if you threw money at them for that, like I did, it's a coming. Uh, like I said, tonight is a one shot. We are in Cathaway. Uh, so let's see how this goes. Let's introduce you to the people who are playing tonight. David, you are up first. Who are you and who are you playing? Hi, I'm David. Tonight I'll be playing Raj. He is the Luxodon monk. So it's a Luxodon. It's it's Babar. You know, elephant people. So. <laughs> wow. Uh, you want to give the rest of your spiel? Is it cute? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. He is. So, uh, yes. Hi, I'm David. <laughs> you can find me here most Tuesdays uh, for Between the Rolls. Uh, I am also in the Calamity campaign, uh, A-side and B-side, as well as Cacophony. I play Sadar, Ingve, and Crow. So, figure that out. Anyway, <laughs> uh, every once in a while, I get a one-shot, like tonight. So, that's me. I'm Dave. Rob, same question, different uh, answers. Hit me, what you got? Oh, that's going to be so hard. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm Rob. I'm. Uh, you can find me on all those socials at Cthulhu Rob. Um, I'm going to be playing Flynn Errolson, who's a variant human fighter. Uh, stepped off the docks into Cathaway and enrolled in the adventuring school, and uh, now he's about to graduate. Nicely done. Uh, last but certainly not least, our producer Carrie. Who are you? Who are you playing? I am playing Chips O'Toole. We'll see how old anybody is here that would know where that name comes from. Uh -huh. um, and I am playing a rock gnome. I don't know. I guess he wanted to get a higher education. So He was tired, he was tired of being an entertainer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> both, Hard. These, these guys are all graduating Adventure Inc., a very prestigious School for Adventuring Heroes, located in the city of Cathaway. Uh, one of its prized members is Dwayne the Brick Johnson, uh, current resident of Cathaway. Uh, now, if you saw the intro, you know what's going on. If you didn't see the intro, uh, these guys are about to graduate. However, uh, it is a common occurrence, a tradition, if you will, uh, to perform one last piece of servitude to the institution. In this case, it is going to be a scavenger hunt. Uh, these guys have all been given a list of items that they will need to accomplish with the caveat that no one has ever gotten all eight of them. Uh, a very rare sight indeed. I do not look to, or I do not see that to be broken this evening. <clears throat> so uh, they are split off into teams. Uh, these guys are going to be the three-person team. Uh, 
you know what? We'll say everybody else is a three-person team. So you are competing in fun uh, against your classmates to try and achieve how many of these items that you can find. Uh, now, as you guys huddle up and discuss your uh, credibility, uh, we're going to go over the list of items for the people at home, as well as do our can of rolls. So uh, the first item on the list, in no particular order, mind you, is a handful of barnacles worth two points. Uh, everybody give me an arcana check. Anna. That's the first uh, oh, nat one of the night right there. Yep. All right. That's the, <laughs> that's the second right one. Way. That's oh, the second one. <laughs> two ones and a 20. Uh, clearly, Chips O'Toole has been down by the dock. Uh, Chips, she will tell you uh, there are docks on the left side of the river that cuts through the middle of the city, and there are docks on the right. Uh, so that's kind of a draw right there. Uh, the second item on the list is an autograph from the prestigious Dwayne the Brick Johnson. Everybody give me an Arcana check. Oh, man. 18. Ooh, 19. Five. <laughs> wow. You have not been anywhere, apparently. Uh, however, both Flynn and Chips know that he is a uh, stationary figure, for the most part, in Jeebus Tavern, just off the main plaza. So that is a position known to you two, uh, probably bar hopping late at night. Uh, Raj, not so much. Uh, thir third item is the pincer from the UCFC. Uh, folks at home, if you don't know what that is, it is the Underground Crab Fighting League. Uh, unfortunately for these guys, all three of you are aware that A, it's not so underground. Everybody knows about it. Uh, but B, the location changes from day to day. So if you're going to find where last night's winner was, you're going to have to talk to people. Uh, I say we next... just go by the smell. <laughs> well, you're in Cathaway, so. <laughs> uh, next up, uh, Teeth from Salty's Tavern. Everybody give me an Arcana roll. 17. Ah! Jesus. I am rolling with this die all night long. When? Uh, 16. All three of you know where Salty's Tavern is. It is by the docks. Awesome. On the right side of the river, uh, which is excellent. Uh, souvenir symbol from the Macabre Theater. Everybody, Arcana. 17. Never heard of it. Time. 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 Nope. Uh, Trips O'Toole, you know that that is also on the right side of the river. Uh, Dwayne is over on the left. Uh, the next one up is an item with a rooster on it. Everybody, Arcana check. Uh, 10. Wow. 7. <laughs> 14. Uh, Flynn, maybe the market at the plaza on the left I side. I saw one somewhere. Yeah, that, that's probably your best chance. Uh, or, you know, you can find a rooster and staple it to something. Uh, <laughs> the gambling token from Archibald Beat Pants. Everybody roll Arcana. Oh. 17. 10. Wow. Four. Uh, Chips, uh, you apparently ditched a lot of classwork to wander the city. <laughs> uh, you know that that is in the upper left quadrant of Cathaway. Uh, in a den of iniquity known as the Gambling Quarter. Uh, the last one up is Esmeralda's Crystal Pendant. Everybody Arcana. 13. 19. 11. Chips? 13. Uh, Flynn, you're pretty sure that that lady is a gypsy or a witch. She has a cart that moves throughout the city selling a variety of trinkets of questionable ownership. But you have no idea where she's at because she moves frequently. That being said, some of your other opposing teams have already left to start to look around. Uh, lady and gentlemen, 
You have eight items. What do you want to go for first? I say we go for the Salty's Tavern <laughs> and the theater. And... But which side of the river are we on? Uh, you are dead center. You are on the bridge spanning left and right. Okay. I say From we this go... angle, you can see the plaza, and you know that Jeebus Tavern is not too far away. You also know that Salty's Tavern is not too far away either, nor are the docks on the right. I say we wow. go to the right because we've got three yep. items. Three. Yep. Agreed. So, right? Yep. Sure. Well, four if we count a handful of barnacles, we can get off any dock. That's true. That's true. Which uh, item do you want to go for first on the right side? I'll let uh, you guys call. Let's go to Salty's. Yeah. Yeah. Salty's it is. Uh, as you move through, it is high noon. You have no money, uh, but you have been fed. Uh, it was a late breakfast brunch kind of ordeal. Uh, we will start with Raj. Give me a D20. 11. Straight up D20, right? No yep. Gods. Uh, the wind kicks up and you guys smell the putrid aroma not a sewers. That's an adventure sense kind of thing. Uh, you smell the putrid uh, docks, uh, and the wind is really picking it up, and you are really feeling ripe. Uh, Flynn, you're up. Give me a straight up D20. Smart of me to play an elephant with keen sense of smell this time of year. <laughs> uh, 11 was the same thing. Give me a different roll. Uh, 19. And it begins to rain. <laughs> <laughs> of course it does. Uh, for, fortunately for you guys, uh, you uh, pass by an individual selling what he calls umbrellas. <laughs> he is a short squat gnome pointing out that you get wet. Don't you need something to cover your head? Uh, you can pass by him and continue on to Salty's or talk, stop and speak with him. Um. Oh. Yeah, I'm eyeing up the umbrellas, just trying to figure out how those things work. <laughs> oh, he he! It, they're placed on a wooden stick, and there's a slider. By the way, this guy's a gnome. Oh, okay. A gnome. A gnome. A gnome. Right. Maybe he's a friend of Chips O'Toole's. We we'll have to wait exactly. a moment. Exactly. We'll have to wait. Uh, he is not. <laughs> ah. Chips will not know who this individual is. Gotcha. So you can stop and talk to him, or realizing that you are under a time crunch. Ah! Uh, we're on a time crunch, so. Yep. <coughs> I think, yeah, thank him, but we'll pass. And uh, As the rainstorm continues to kick up and the wind is blowing the lovely aroma of spoiled fish, you kick open the saloon doors of one Salty's Tavern. Uh, it sits right off the docks, and it is a well-known hangout for, shall we say, the sailor life or seamen. Uh, as you walk in, the, the area is dimly lit. There is a large bar to the left. Uh, patrons sit at tables on the right. And on the far back, uh, you see what appear to be barbarians throwing an axe at a spinning wheel. End of this radio. <laughs> oh, uh, boy. Uh, the waitress will come up, uh, ask you uh, how many of them are you, and uh, put you in a seat. Uh, yeah, I tell her there's three uh, of us, and um, uh, sure, uh, seat would be lovely. Uh, they put you in the middle of a room. You see a lot of interesting people, including a group of barbarians at the back. Mm. There are four of them. Oh, no. Uh, no. And they will eyeball the rock gnome, kind of sizing up Chipso Tool. Uh-oh. Why are they Do sizing they up me? Is, is there anybody on the wheel? Uh, no. Uh, a lot of axes. 
Yeah. <laughs> a lot of axes. Uh, Chip, you notice that of the four barbarians, uh, all four of them appear to be hell bent on you, and they just kind of glare at you. Uh, Apparently, you've been to this place before. Um, hmm. I wave. Can I buy? Or no, I don't have any money. <laughs> Damn. How are you doing tonight? The waitress hears this and says, "What do you mean you don't got no money? <laughs> Get your ass out of here if you ain't gonna be buying stuff." <laughs> Damn it. Uh, Chips, give me a persuasion roll for your friendly wave. Oh, uh, this is not good. Uh, oh, God, this bard's more trouble. <laughs> nine. The barbarians wander over to your table, take a look at uh, Raj the Elephant Man and Flynn the Variant Human before focusing their attention on Chips O'Toole. One of them takes his meaty finger and pokes you in the chest and asks if you're the one that sings about the stupid barbarian. Um, no, that, no, that's not me. I, I would never do that. Deception check. <laughs> uh, nine. Uh. They're uncertain and ask you to play a lively tune. Oh, gosh. Um, the only one I know is... It's a cover. <laughs> it's a cover. A cover song? It's a cover yeah. song. I have the name of the band. Uh, by Poison. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Let me guess. Every rose has a spawn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me a performance check. Oh, Let's no. See how well you do. Uh, or some sugar on the oh, oh, that's definitely oh, wrong band. Uh, performance. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, 15. Uh... The barbarians find it to be catchy uh, and offer to buy your table around if you can sing another one. Sure. The uh, waitress goes and fetches three ales. Uh, what's another song that you got to perform? Uh, one Night in Bangkok. <laughs> oh, yes. Wow. wow. Okay, give it, a, give it a shot there, Tyson. Okay, taco. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Uh, the world's an oyster. <laughs> kick my not kick, natural. <laughs> kick my kicks above the waistline, my sunshine. <laughs> when Raj, uh, Chips O'Toole is killing it, and the barbarians are raucously singing along very off key. One night in Bangkok. <laughs> All right, that's, awesome. I'm going to try and lift one of their coin purses. Oh, this oh, is, this is gonna go yeah. Damn it! We need teeth. Uh, this is not gonna be in their coin purse. <laughs> you don't know that. We can get on the ground and look for some, probably. I was gonna offer the sweet. Nineteen. <laughs> uh, 19 yeah, you uh, pick the coin purse of one who has wow one gold piece. <laughs> Apparently, this is the guy that's been buying your drinks. Uh, you guys have two rounds of drinks. Uh, Trips O'Toole, you're getting a standing ovation for that. Uh, and an individual begins to walk over. Everybody give me a perception check to see if you notice this. <clears throat> uh, perception. Holy crap, perception. Mm, nine. Nineteen. Uh, let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Perception. Uh, uh, 20, not natural. Uh, Raj, an individual walks over to you and says, are you the manager for that act? <laughs> I can be. <laughs> well, all right, all right, all right. Oh, wow. <laughs> I would like to make a deal with you. Uh, uh, is she available uh, later tomorrow night for another uh, play? I, I look at Chips and say, and it's just like, absolutely. Chips, Chips is rocking the house right now. Yeah, I say, absolutely. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, he goes, uh, well, what's the cost? Uh, oh, uh, I'm just going to pull a figure out of the air. Uh, ten gold pieces for the night. Sold. 
That'll work. I'll expect her to be here at sundown tomorrow. All right. It's a date. She'll be here. Do we get our money up front? <laughs> you do not. However, Flynn, uh, as the crowd moves in to listen to Chip's melodic voice uh, singing the taco great one night in Bangkok, unlike Mike Tyson from The Hangover, uh, <laughs> somebody bumps into you, spilling their drink all over you, Flynn. Ah. As you turn around, it is a sailor. He and his cohorts are clearly drunk. Uh, and the one that bumped into you pushes you out of the way and steps up to get a better look. I uh, let him do it. Okay. Uh, and pick his pocket. Well, D12 against me. Sure. We're going to get teased somehow. Uh, 10. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me your uh, sleight of hand check. Uh, 16 plus 4 is 20. You get nine gold, but his friend does not notice. Uh, Chip, you can tell that uh, Raj is talking to some uh, kind of skeezy looking individual. Uh, Flynn is picking this place dry, and you have a bunch of sailors and barbarians who are just, you know... Um, uh -huh. If they have flint and steel, they're trying to light each uh, other's nice. ears. Uh, however, uh, the sailor that Flynn just picked uh, notices that his coin purse is missing, and he turns towards the barbarian and gives him a little shove. Give him the money. <laughs> the barbarian, strangely enough, does not take kindly to this. Strange. And pushes the sailor back. Do I see this? Oh, yeah, because you're up on the table singing. Okay. Flynn, <laughs> give me a dex check. Okie doke. Uh, that's 13. Uh, the guy bumps into you and uses you to push off, and there's a fight. <laughs> I hop on the a, table and get down We're going to get our teeth somehow. <laughs> exactly. Uh, give me a dex check, Chips, for jumping off in the middle of the melee. Uh, uh, ugh, ten. Uh, you collide with the waitress who spills a tray of drinks on another patron. Oh. Oh. Patron takes offense, odd, at the waitress, even at you. You don't sing that good, he says, winds up, and goes for the punch. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, Uh-oh. With Indeed. a six, he will wildly miss. Oh, thank God. Raj Flynn perception check. 17. Yes, plus three. Uh, sorry, I roll with advantage because of his thing. Uh, that would be 11. So, uh, Raj, you are busy. Uh, fi filing out the details with all right, all right, all right, Matthew McConaughey. Flynn, you notice that uh, your money train here is about to get ooh, punched ooh, out. Ooh, 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 ooh. I, I need to stop that from happening. Um, I'll uh, move over quickly as I can and uh, employ my belaying pin sure. to the back of his skull. Sure. I'll let you attack at advantage since he has uh, got his back to you. Otherwise occupied. Yep. Oh, at advantage, that's going to be a 19 plus, what is it, 5? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, 24. I'm going to hit him, all right. You're going to clock him. Uh, uh -huh. Raj, are you asking for the money up front or no? I forgot to ask. Um, I I asked for a deposit, for not, not for all of it. Uh, D12 against me. Okay. How much damage there, Glenn? Uh, Five points of bludgeoning damage. Eight. Uh, down he goes like a sack of wet shit. The waitress tackles him, uh, turns to you, Chips, and says, you better run, honey. Uh, Raj, uh, Matthew McConaughey pours out his coin purse, and you notice something unusual. Uh, he has gold. He has silver. He has a platinum piece. He's got small gems. And he has a collection of teeth. And 
as and Lily Bat, <laughs> and, 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 and Lily Bat is just like, how about as part of the deposit, perhaps uh, one or two of those teeth would from your collection? I give you a murder hobo. I give you six of them if that's all it's going to take. Uh, yes, that's all it'll take. <laughs> Some poor bastard lost them last night. Uh, he clinks over all six teeth and he goes, she better be here at dusk tomorrow. She'll be here at dusk. Or <laughs> Mitch will cut off your balls. <laughs> uh, at this point, uh, a large ogre looking fellow named Mitch puts his head through the window. If you haven't seen the cult classic Bachelor Party with Tom Hanks, you don't understand that joke, Caitlin. <laughs> uh, we need to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Chips yeah. and Flynn, you both hear the waitress tell you, hey, honey, you need to start moving. Uh, do you guys make like a tree and Absolutely. get the hell out of here? <laughs> <laughs> yes, folks, it's going to be... I'm going to make like a baby and leave. There you go. Uh, Raj, give me a perception check. Let's see if you notice everybody bailing on you. got to do with advantage. Hopefully it gets better than 11. Raj? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, wh what is it that we're rolling again? I thought you were saying Rob. Perception. Oh, Perception. Okay. Perception. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, that would be an 8. An 8? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you are too busy locked in on the dental work that uh, mm -hmm. you uh, get it. Uh, Matthew McConaughey reminds you that you will cut off your balls. Uh, and as you gloriously hold the teeth. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, and one of the odd sailors, even barbarians. One of the barbarians throws a punch at a sailor who misses. Uh. Uh, but with 13 plus 2, 15, does that connect? To Raj? To Raj. No, no it does not. Thank God. Uh, swing it and a miss. Uh, you backpedal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, the <laughs> sailor goes low on the barbarian, and there's shit flying all over the place. Chips O'Toole and Flynn, just as you reach the door, uh, ale mugs come flying over the top. Oh no. <laughs> Four. Flynn. Seventeen. Flynn is That's that's got me. Knocked in the back of the head with Ouch. a mug. It is a glancing blow for two Ooh. hit points. Uh, but you are covered in suds. Yeah. As you step outside, the soft rain will go ahead and wash those suds down into the crack of your ass, giving you a beer bath. Ugh. Raj, give me a perception check. Uh, ugh. uh, ten. Directly across from you is a door. Okay. Uh, outside, there's a door. Sure, okay. it's not it's not the same one you came in, but it'll work. Okay. I point to my uh, <laughs> compadres. Door, oh, they're, they're gone. You oh, don't know gone. where they went. <laughs> okay, Raj makes his way for the door. <laughs> Another mug of ale with an at 20, it clocks you nicely. <laughs> oh, uh, four hit points. Oh boy, that hit hard. Give me a dexterity check. A dexterity check. All right, uh, 24. Uh, you do not hit your face in the door. Give me a D12. Uh, D12. Uh, four. Three, again. Uh, you are grabbed from behind, Raj. Uh-oh. I spin around. <laughs> it's the waitress. Oh. Uh, yes. <laughs> Wrong door, sweetie. <laughs> I take it this is the, the shitter, right? <laughs> You don't know. You haven't been oh. here. Okay. Uh, I beg my pardon, madam. <laughs> Exit. <laughs> Another mug of ale. 
19. <laughs> wow, boy. Oh, okay. Single hit point of damage just as you reach the door. Uh, the rain is coming down now. The smell of fish and debris from the bear oh. there. Chips O'Toole and Flynn Errolson are outside. Flynn is trying to wipe the suds off the back of his neck. Uh, not a lot of foot traffic around here right now because of the rainstorm. Uh, however, you guys are at the docks as well. Uh, Chips O'Toole and Flynn do not realize you have teeth. I was going to say, because uh, I saw him talking to the guy. So what's up with the skeezy guy? What's, what's going on there? That skeezy guy gave us the teeth that we need for our scavenger hunt. And I o open my hand and like drop them into my other hand and put them into my uh, pouch. But, pouch. but why? One condition. You have to be here at sundown tomorrow to uh, for another concert. <laughs> okay. You're on right after the Wonders. Yeah, that's the it. The Wonders. The, the, the O-Nighters. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, whatever. We uh, are, It's a paying gig. We are we are getting 10 gold for the entire gig. All right. So. We. we yeah, we. Uh, okay. You guys, you're going to be my backup singers. So now. Sure. <laughs> I could be your dancer. <laughs> we can go to the dock and see if we can get some barnacles since we're here. Uh, off, yes. Sounds chips, good. Uh, give me a d20 straight up. 19. Uh, the rainstorm continues. Raj, give me a d20. Um, d20 and can I take care of my wounds? <laughs> sure. Okay, I mean with like med kit or whatever, you know bandages whatever i mean i don't i'm not yeah, sure how we're doing it you okay. can bandage them but you can get hit dirty not gonna get pussy. not gonna get some hit points back <laughs> using, not gonna uh, get some hit points now maybe the bard will help you out okay uh what is it that i'm rolling again d20 uh 15 oh. uh you notice there's a rusty old weapon in the gutter it looks like a scimitar I point that out. I say, that looks like a rusty old weapon. <laughs> weapon oh, the uh, <laughs> as the blood trickles down his face. We should probably pick that up. You never know. We might need to trade it for something. Okay. Since we yeah. don't have any money. Uh, Chip's clearly uh, right. Raj is hurt. We don't have any money, right? Right. There's no money. No, we didn't get any. So I can't heal him. I don't know anything about bards. Uh, uh, I thought you had cure wounds. Do you have a cure wounds? I. She might not. I don't she think might I not. do. Okay. I'm not all bards own. do healing. Yeah. <laughs> not this you're, one. <laughs> you're screwed, Raj. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Chip, how many hit points do you have? Ten. Uh, Errol. I'm very well, squishy. <laughs> well, I did have twelve. I have I'm ten now. You got ten now. Uh, yeah. and Raj. At twelve. <laughs> Minus the ones you hit me with. Down to Ooh. seven. Ouch. Uh, well, you are at the docks. It is still raining. People are frantically moving in and out of the rain. There are porters here. Uh, as you reach the dock area proper, everybody perception check. Hmm. Oh, hell. 17. <laughs> Two. Uh, 23 this time. Chips, uh, water has gotten into your eye and you are frantically brushing it out. Flynn and Raj, good news. There are several ships in port. Bad news. They have been recently cleaned. Oh, uh, well, you know. Ooh. On this side of the river. But well, we gotta go to the other the side. Of the Look, everything's clean. That's wow. such horseshit. Cathaway is a very clean city. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, I. Uh, you said the the scimitar was rusty itself. Yeah. Can I turn it over to see if perhaps this might have been in salt water to where there's barnacles farming on it or anything? You can what's, what's my luck? <laughs> uh, D20. Straight okay. up. All right. Because you're about to get tetanus. 
Oh no! <laughs> oh god, no! Nine. You do not get tetanus. Uh, there is some kind of engraving on the blade, but you cannot make it out. There are no okay. barnacles here. Okay, so no. I say, hey, we're on the right side of the dock, and the theater is supposed to be over here. Yeah, somewhere over here. Yep. So okay. Why don't, why don't we go do that? Okay. Sure. Uh, Flynn, D20. Uh, 11. Uh, good news. It has now stopped raining. Awesome. Chips O'Toole, D20. Uh, 19. Good news, it started raining again. Right. It, it started to rain again. Who's <laughs> <you, everyone>. fucking <laughs> Dice give us and the dice take them away. Son of a uh, bitch. You guys meander through the streets. Everybody give me a perception check. Uh, 21. Okay. 10. Uh, 16. Uh, let's see. Yep, 16 is my best. So, <clears throat> All three of you notice a group of sailor types holding the batons that Flynn Errolson used in the bar. Flynn, you notice that these guys are on a mission and resemble oh. what is called a, a press, press gang. gang. Uh, there are several shops to your left and to your right if you want to ditch into one Hell and avoid yeah. these men. Uh, you will need off to tell Chips and Raj because they don't know what's going on. Psst, off the streets. Okay. Everybody roll a D12. Ooh, where's it at? There it is. Eight. Twelve. Stop moving. Flynn dives into a nearby business, followed by Chips, followed by Raj. Raj, D12 against me. Let's see if the press gang has spotted you. Of course they did. Of course they did. <laughs> Very nice. They did spot you. Uh, as you guys walk in, meat hangs from the rafters here, and you are stunned as a heavily muscled woman with orcish features slams down a butcher's knife and says, I what do you want? Um, do you have any sausages? Laddie, do you see sausages hanging here? Uh, uh, no. What no. are you, blind? I pipe up and say, um, excuse me, ma'am, do you happen to know where the UCFC might be tomorrow night? Persuade me. Don't we want to know where it was last night? You do indeed. Persuade. Uh, ten. <clears throat> oh, no clue. Oh, damn it. Uh, can I do a quick <clears throat> scan to see if she has any items with perhaps a rooster brand on it somewhere or marking? That's fair. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Uh, ten. She does not. Okay. Good call, though. Good call. <clears throat> Uh, um, you also notice that the press gang ain't coming in here. Okay. <laughs> Are they still just hanging out, or? D12 against me, Chips. Eight. Fuck. One. Yeah, they seem to be hanging out. Shit. Ooh. Uh, I wet. say, since you have no sausages, could I get two pounds of the fillet? The sausages are hanging from the rafters, you imbecile. I swear I'm blind. We don't have any money. You oh, don't wait, have any that's money. That's right, he does. I forgot. Do you want the fillets or do you want the sausages? Tell you what, I think I'll take the fillets. You got wow. money? Yeah. Clinkity clink clink clink. How much? How much do you want? I, I want two pounds. <sighs> okay. Two gold. Okay. I'll pack out the two gold. Okay. I'll put the two pounds in my satchel. Gross. Uh, <laughs> might, might need to deal with some dogs later. Who knows? That is true. That is not a bad idea. Uh, everybody, perception check. Also, it gets us to stay in our shop longer. <clears throat> uh, 14. Seven, no, 18. Uh, 18. <laughs> 
Raj chips as Flynn mysteriously pulls out gold from somewhere. Was that <laughs> you your ass? <laughs> ass gold. You notice that the press gang has moved on and the rain has stopped. I ask her, um, <laughs> do you know where the macabre theater is? Yes. Could you direct us? Okay. We go that way. Thanks. Yeah. As you go out, uh, you head the that same way. way. That you, 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 the same way that you came in, you just didn't go far enough down the road uh, to find it. Uh, you come to the Macabre Theater, and there is a sign present. Mm. And what does the sign Closed. say? Uh, <clears throat> I knock on the door. Mm. Knock, 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 knock. Nothing? Nope. Hmm. People are returning to the street. Hmm. Okay. Well, what what is the are time Are there of hours day? on the store? Or on the... No, just a sorry close. Uh, Raj, what was your question? Oh, what, what, what is the time of day? Uh, uh, you've been about half hour, 45 minutes. Oh, cool. Let's see if there's Ch a... Chips O'Toole did two cover songs, so, you know. Let's you see got if there's a two back entrance. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, as you duck into the alley, uh, who wants to D12 against me? I will. <laughs> Eleven. Eight. Uh, you sneak into the alleyway unnoticed and unmolested, and sure enough, there is a wooden door, not the best uh, condition, uh, but looking, looking, looking. Looks like it'll get you into the Macabre Theater. I sneak in. Oh. D12 against me. Six. One. It's locked. Yeah. Try this crowbar. Oh, very good. Sure, burglary. Uh, is it, is there... Well, you said the door wasn't very secure. Correct. Is Not it just all? Knocks. Is it all wood? Yep. All right, I take the crowbar. Uh, give me a two hit roll. Seventeen. Oh yeah, you you pop that thing open like a champ. Okay. <laughs> a musty smell exits. Uh, the sun is peeking out from among the clouds, so at least there's no rain. Who wants to go in first? I don't know, but I think we should go in and inform them that their back door is open. That's a brilliant idea. Hello! <laughs> Let's make go sure in first. You hide uh, the crowbar. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess I am short. I could go. There is a bugbear right in front of you. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. A live one? Or is it stuffed? Uh, initiative. <laughs> yes, that answers that question. <clears throat> oh, uh, four. And plus two. Sixteen. Raj? Uh, that is eight. Uh, Eighteen for me. A messy growl escapes from the bugbear, and you can see it holds a shiny axe. Uh, Flynn, looking over Chipso Tools, Shoulder, you also see the same thing. What do you want to do? Fill my hands with swords. We don't okay. have the hit points for this, dear God. And then <laughs> uh, step around chips, put myself between chips and the bugbear. You're so sure. brave. Uh, yeah, right. Um, hello? Um, we found your door open. Thought we'd let you know. No reason to tell you resort to violence now. Uh, Chips, what was your initiative roll? Four. So, Raj, what do you want to do? Uh, I uh, kind of back up <laughs> my buddy Flynn here and say, yeah, we just happen to be uh, passing by and looks like somebody kicked your door in or something. Chips, you're up. What do you want to do? <clears throat> I play music to soothe the savage beast. Round two, uh, another menacing growl is heard. Uh, oh. Perception check, everybody. 
Maybe we should just back away slowly. Mm -hmm. Uh, 19. 18. Uh, yeah, 16. All three of you notice, uh, this thing's not moving. Ah, it is fake. The bugbear is not moving. Not at all. Upon closer inspection, Flynn, with the initiative win, you notice it just stands there menacingly holding the whatever the hell I said, club or axe. Axe. But doesn't move. Uh, its mm -hmm. eyes are a little bit weird, too. I can't even, uh -uh. I don't even have anything I can poke it with. I do. But Don't it's a gross, sword. <laughs> well, do you want to poke it? Um, tap it. Would... Uh, give me a two hit roll. Okay. Uh, that's a nineteen plus whatever. So you tip it over. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> it falls to the ground, holding its axe. Again. <laughs> that's really not something I ever want to deal with again. This appears to be some kind of back room. I almost shat myself. There are there are two exits or two doors rather, uh, one to the left, one to the right. We need to get a thimble and get the f out of here. Mm, well, do you think thimbles would be left or right? Well, oh. well, it'd probably be in the front, you know, because they probably always dump the you out to the guest or yeah, into the gift shop. <laughs> always by the exit, man. That's how they get you. <sighs> Uh -huh. Well, that's where we should go then. Okay, so we'll try to surmise uh, to work our way towards what would apparently be the gift shop. <laughs> the front I'm going to need a left or a right. Uh, left. Fair enough. You open the door and it appears as though you are in some kind of uh, theater type atmosphere. Chips will feel right at home you notice uh several statues lit kind of taxidermied creatures here uh in various different poses uh some of them have three eyes some of them only have one arm i mean it's real macabre if you will uh um, as you move forward lights begin to flash everybody give me a wisdom save oh no dancing lights Wisdom, 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 wisdom. Oh, Ooh. oh my gosh, that's so good. Where the Thirteen. Hello, go. <clears throat> ah, Fourteen. Oh. Uh, wisdom. Uh, sixteen. Uh, Flynn, you are blinded from the light. <laughs> blinded by the light. <clears throat> Uh, Chips and Raj, you managed to shield your hand, and you notice that the light is beaming right on the uh, grimmest faces of these stuffed creatures. Uh, probably from the walkway, it would look rather menacing, uh, but from next to it, as you are, because you guys are on the stage, uh, not that scary. Flynn yells out, I'm blind, I'm blind, because ah. as we all know, he was blind in the butcher shop, too. Uh, the blindness is only temporary, Flynn, and you notice that these creatures, much like the bugbear, only look menacing, uh, but do not do anything. Right. You see uh, the wooden boards are crudely marked with arrows. So apparently you guys have come to the back of the area and can follow the arrows or uh, be rebels and go in reverse order. Oh. Yeah, no. We need sure. to get this thimble and get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I guess we follow the pattern. Cool. As you guys begin to make your way through the second half of the theater of the macabre, you notice uh, more taxidermied creatures, tapestries revealing some kind of bloody ritual from creatures. Essentially, it's like uh, Madame Trussard's. Now, what's the Halloween store? Spirit? Halloween spirit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it's like a spirit store. Uh, you know, without the weird lights and everything, it's not scary at all. Uh, but you can see in the right lighting, 
okay you know maybe this will yeah. be scary it's horrifying uh as you make your way in you can see what you believe to be the foyer uh but just as you move forward five raj a trunk to your right opens up and a skeleton emerges and reaches out for you roll initiative <laughs> Ooh. 18 again. What is it? 14. What's everybody else's? 15. Not great. Uh, 13 plus 2, 15 as well. Uh -oh. uh, I grab a hold, maybe. That 20, I latch on to rise. Oh. <laughs> uh 15s what do you guys want to do raj shrieks <laughs> it's the elephant oh. shriek it's that <laughs> <laughs> exactly I suppose i could chop its arm off go ahead uh oh that's a 17 to hit i guess oh, yeah. Those bones go flying in a, a myriad of different ways. Yeah, that'll work. The hand is still stuck to Raj's cloak. Uh, <laughs> I use my trunk to, to pull anything? it off. <laughs> you can on your turn. Yeah. Uh, it is now your turn, Raj, as Chip sits back and watches. Yeah, I use my trunk to pull it off, <laughs> holding on to my quarter staff. It easily comes off and doesn't feel quite right. It doesn't feel like real bone. Oh, okay. Uh, the pile of bones doesn't move. Uh, clearly, this was the last fright moment in the macabre theater. <laughs> uh, and you reach the foyer. True Take enough, no there is a gift shop. All right. Uh, Bitches, okay. Souvenir thimble. The thimble. Look for a rooster and get the fuck out. Very good. There yeah. is no rooster thimble, unfortunately. Who wants to roll a d8 to see which thimble you get? Uh, anyone? Anyone? Okay. Damn it. Uh, four. <laughs> thimble number four. It is... Let me read the description for you. Oh, no. Uh, it's an older sil silver thimble, and it's on the counter, and it has the letters TM engraved in it. Uh, could be Theater of the Macabre. Could be something else. Well, that looks like a good thing to just put with the teeth. You want to put it on? No. No. Don't okay. do that. Just want to put it with the teeth uh ahead of you is the crash bar door to get you back out onto the street you surmise do we do that or do we go back the way we came flynn hears a muffled voice inside his coin purse with the teeth oh man did you hear something <laughs> listen again <laughs> Sounds like no. teeth chattering. No, no worries. That's just scary. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Do we bust out the crash bar or are we going out the back? No, let's go to the crash bar. Okay. Like we own the place. Who's first? I'll go out first. When? No shit. Third natural 20 of the night. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> Chips and Raj, you see Flynn reach for the door, wham, and get thrust down on his back. Uh, or... Oh, <laughs> you got ouch. lucky there. Uh, only one murder ouch. hobo. Uh, Ow. But it is nine points of damage. Oh. Ow. Uh, he only had, what, 10? Yeah, but I got a second wind. Uh, you don't know why that happened, 
Uh, so Chips and Raj, if you want to go outside, you can. That's not a big deal. The door's <laughs> open now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to bonus action use my second wind. Can you <laughs> crawl across the doorway? Yeah, I'm going to crawl across the door threshold while I'm going healing myself. Oh, nice. Uh, I will heal back 10 hit points plus one is 11. As you reach the threshold. Which is exactly what I needed to get back. Uh, does an 11 hit you? Uh, no. You can feel your body not wanting to leave the area, but you ignore it and start to crawl out into the sunlight. Chips and Raj, what would you guys like to do? Uh, if we're out, we're uh, out. Uh, <laughs> we're yeah, I'm out fine. Yet, though, right? I think we're out. Yeah. No, you we're not still, out yet. I'm going out the back. <laughs> yeah, it's like an episode of Letter Kenny when we were like falling out the back. <laughs> so. Okay, you guys run back past the skeleton, past the stuffed animals, past the over bug bear uh flynn d12 against me yeah yeah I i'm gonna really want to uh uh that's a 12. 10 <laughs> oh shit i got a 10 as you drag yourself out alone because your friends fucked you over i didn't uh, say i wasn't coming back you yeah. look well yeah but you got to make the big we got to uh, go around, around. <laughs> uh flynn uh as you kind of raise up you see a pair of uh, for lack of a better term, old lady shoes uh, and a very woolen kind of skirt. As you look up, this mean old portly woman has her hands on her hips and asks you, what are you doing in my place? Well, uh, if you'll let me pick myself up. <clears throat> what are you doing in my place? You see, the back door was open. And... It was not. It was. Uh, it appears someone broke it down or broke it in or something. Uh, Does we that came in to see. Got advantage because <laughs> truly someone did break into it. Oh yes, uh, <laughs> at, advantage, at advantage. That's uh, uh, nineteen minus one is eighteen. Okay. Uh, continue. Uh, so then, I don't remember why, but my friend said we should go this way, and then something hit me, and I came out the door. I'm not sure what happened after that or before that for that matter chips and raj you uh move through the building down the alleyway and as you peek outside you notice that flynn uh is getting the third degree from an old lady who looks like she probably has a frying pan or a rolling pin hidden somewhere in her fold. Oh. <laughs> I run up to him and I say, Flynn, I've gone to the constabulary to bring them here because the back door was open. Are you okay? I, I don't know. I didn't find anybody inside, but something might have hit me. I was trying to, oh, get out the front. I don't know. I have a lump on the back of my head. Ma'am, did you hit him in the head? Deception check. See if she <laughs> buys your constabulary. I do, I do have a lump on the back of my head. Yes, you do. 14. 15. Well, then we'll wait for the constable. That's fine. Excellent. I hope you have a good lawyer. My friend here is very delicate. <laughs> and look at him. Now he looks stupid. <laughs> Speaking of looking stupid, two individuals who don't look quite right Wander up to you. Oh, oh. Ma, what are they doing? Uh, these individuals look a lot like somebody who would have a friend named Chunk. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh -oh. They introduce themselves as Larry and Larry. <laughs> Larry and Larry. Okay. Larry and Larry. Ma, what's wrong? Why's that boy got a lump on his head? I interject and say, I came upon them like this. I think your mother whacked him in the head. Larry on the right greases up his eyebrow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're awful cute. Nice how that works out. Uh. <laughs> let's, see, let's see how many teeth he has. Uh, Got 12. We've got 12. Well, that's, got 12 that's impressive. I say, yeah. well, look at all those shiny teeth Wait. you have. 
he's over 16 years old and he's got 12 teeth. Yeah, and Amazing. they're they're Bundy gold in color. <laughs> so Larry seems to like chips. Uh, Mama and the other Larry do not seem to like Flynn. Raj, do you want to say anything in your defense? Yeah, <laughs> I back up uh, uh, Flynn's play with uh, our story and just uh, tell them, yeah, we saw some individuals here and looking mighty unscrupulous. So we thought we'd alert the const the constabulary or whatever. Deception check. So, <laughs> oh, we know that's going to go well. Fabulary <laughs> or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what my deception is. The monk. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a big zero uh, for modifiers. So, yeah, that, that's a five. <laughs> uh, with a 19, you feel something ricochet off your head. Okay. You look around and you notice Larry, not with chips, is throwing peanuts at you. Uh, I'm hey, like, Ma, what? I thought you said them things could go ahead and catch them peanuts. <laughs> oh, before, before, before he throws another peanut, my trunk reach out and grabs his hand. <laughs> it's smooth, Mama, like my leg. Uh, this Larry only has six teeth and has a clear speech impediment. Right. Uh, Daryl. He begins to stroke your trunk. Uh, I, I lean into my and Larry. That creeps me out, so I shake the trunk. <laughs> just... I lean into my Larry and I say, could you distract your mom and your brother and then I could meet you around back here in about 15 minutes? Persuasion. Oh, wow. <laughs> Put some cleavage. Nineteen. You mean? <laughs> That's right. Hey, Ma, should we go inside? And make sure nobody stole nothing. Yeah, somebody hit me in the head. There's got to be somebody in there. Uh, with a two, she tells you three. Best be back here when I come back out. She, Larry, and Larry go in, and the one Larry who likes chips gives you the double wink. All right, we got to get the fuck out of here because I am not doing that. Go, go, go. I got to take one for the team, are you? Not that one. Not that. I don't don't blame her. I don't blame her. (laughs) Do not blame her. Uh, uh, okay, you guys take off once they enter. Uh, Flynn, give me a perception check. Just a second. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't see it. Okay. Six. Uh, That's just... What? So, what, what do you guys want to do now? Uh, I, I assume you're uh, hightailing it. Yeah, yeah we're, we're hightailing it out of I there. I think we should get to the other side of the river. I think that sounds like <laughs> a lovely point. idea. There's something uh, on the left bank we need to do. Barnacles. You you tile you haul ass for one block, turn around, uh no one is in pursuit. You are back to the bridge whence you started. Uh perception check, all three of you. Nine. Thirteen. Uh twenty two. Eleven, Raj, you spot uh, some of your competitors. They call themselves the Falcon. (laughs) Uh, You recognize these three imbeciles from school. You did not much care for them. Uh, Their braggadocio was offensive to you. Uh, And as they pass by you, they give you a nice smirk, uh, indicating that maybe they have found stuff yeah. uh <laughs> you guys cross over the river yeah uh yes that we do raj d20 flynn you're on deck 16 
Fair enough. Uh, kids are running past you at a high rate of speed yelling, hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh, I need talk six. Raj, I need you to make a dexterity check or potentially fall into the river oh, as no. one of the kid kind of hip checks you. They got to hip check an elephant? Okay. <laughs> You aren't a full-size elephant. <laughs> no, no. Uh, let's see. It is uh, 14. <laughs> 14 is good enough. They bump into you. Uh, hey, you kids. Uh. <laughs> hey, you kids. Get off my lawn. Uh, do you guys want to continue crossing the river? Can, yeah. can we look out and see if we see any barnacles? On the river? Oh, okay. No, I guess yeah, not. You, no, you're not going to see that. You do see a man headed towards you being led by, uh, or being led somewhere uh, by guards. The man is in chains screaming, I'm innocent, I tell you. It wasn't me. It was that one right there. And eyeballs Raj. I'd recognize that trunk anywhere. You got to let me go. That's your real culprit. Raj, uh, you've never seen this guy before. No, you have never no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> the guards look at you and go, "Are you involved?" I have. I've never seen this gentleman before in my life. Deception check. Okay. <laughs> yeah, with the zero. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> they crack the guy on the back of the head. Stop wasting our time. And they drag him. He, as he's being dragged away, he looks at you, Raj, and he goes, "I'll get you, pal. You just made the list." Uh -oh. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Is that the shit list or what? <laughs> and as you cross the river, uh, does Nineteen get you? Uh, yeah, just like. Boom. Uh, you feel the teeth in your pocket dig in. Oh. Yeah. And you take four hit points of damage. Ow! Maybe we should separate those teeth from that thimble. Yeah, you think? You reach in and do it. Uh, 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 uh. I fall for that one with Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have to keep those objects separate. That ain't working so good there. He wants to reach in and pull forth the thimble. Oh. Well, do we have to take the thimble out? Can't you just, like, carry the thing outside your pocket? It'll fit on your finger. No, it's all right. I, I, I'll reach in and grab the thimble and pull it out. Uh, how many teeth did you get? Six? Six. Mm -hmm. uh, roll me a d8. Okay. Six. Tooth. Roll. Four. Tooth. Reroll. Eight. Didn't get anything that time. One. Tooth. Uh oh. Two. Tooth. Five. Tooth. Now D six. Four. Tooth. Odd even roll. So that's all all six teeth that he's got, right? He's full. Mm -hmm. Okay. Odd. He has six teeth in his hand. No thimble. So the thimble is still in the bag? Thimble's still in his pocket, but he's got the six teeth out. Uh, I tell him, uh, I I hope I open my pouch, and it's just like, you can uh, just put the teeth in put there. Put the teeth right in that other pouch. <laughs> Zip. <laughs> you can carry that one. <laughs> okay. A thin trickle of blood uh, goes down into your boot. Uh, and you can tell Ouch. that you've got bite marks uh, similar, oh, si similar to Susanna uh, under the bridge. Uh, but you do have the two items separated, which may or may not help you. As you find yourself on the far side, you notice the Jeebus Tavern. 
Oh, it helps me. Left. Raj has the teeth. Yeah. Shiva's Tavern is to the left. The shopping Plaza is to the right. Uh, 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 plaza. Shiva's Tavern. Okay, we do the tavern. Yeah, Let's do tavern. It. <laughs> Going for the autograph. <laughs> We're doing the kind of guy all the way there. Right, I, I think we, we can afford. Right, <laughs> right, you guys, we can afford one round of drinks. For An us. autograph from the company's most famous graduate, Dwayne the Brick Johnson, is on the list. This famous person is a legend in the city and even has a bronze bust in the school. Oh. Uh, he is known for his kind words and powerful physique. You're also aware that he is a fixture in Jeebus Tavern, and you head that way just off the main square. Certainly, he would be happy to help out some fledgling heroes. As you guys walk in, there's a fight. Uh. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, in the middle of this tavern, people are fighting. You don't know why. You don't know who they are. Uh, you do recognize... Group nine, uh, and they are composed of a ranger, a barbarian, and a fighter. Uh, these three are your competition. A quick oh, look sorry. around does not reveal Dwayne the Brick Johnson anywhere in this scuffle. There's a substantial amount of damage here. Uh, however, you can see the innkeeper, the tavern owner, the bartender, appears to not give two shits as he continually wipes out a mug. He is on the far side of the area. You will have to cut through the combat zone or try and crawl around the sides. I start playing music to calm everyone down. Persuasion. <laughs> 19. You need to start having a playlist. <laughs> uh, I'll bite on that one. What song are you playing? Uh, holding out for a hero. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's fuck with David, but we'll have Chips O'Toole roll a percentage. Oh, I fuck. need a hero on your nice. list. Nice. Oh. 60%. <laughs> Uh, over half the bar uh, has stopped fighting. Looks like the end of Slapshot. Uh, and they're, <laughs> wa they're watching you. 40% are unfazed and they're still fighting. So you'll still have to cross through or crawl around. Now, it's easier to go around 40%. If you stop uh, singing, that no might cause a problem. I'll, yeah. I'll keep singing as we go yeah. along. <laughs> so are you crawling or cutting straight across? Uh, let's cut straight across. Yeah. Uh, all right. Off to circle around. Uh, you don't all have to do the same thing. If one of you wants to circle around, That's I don't true. care. Uh, yeah, why don't, why don't Flynn circle around? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I'll circle around the outside. <laughs> ow, ow, you still ow, have ow. your head wound and your leg wound. <laughs> so Flynn, give me four dexterity checks. Please. All right, here they go. Four at once. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure that all of those are great except for the seven, which is only a nine. Everything else is above 16. Three of the four will be fine. You will get hit with, give me an odd or even. Uh, even. Uh, give me a D6. One. You are my favorite person on the planet at this moment in time. Oh, no. <laughs> you receive a dart to the head that sticks. Oh. Two hit points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear somebody yell out, Oi, I get extra points for hitting him in the head. Uh, Chips oh. and Raj. Now, Chips, remember, you can't fight while you're playing. Uh, right. You two decide to cut across the center, so Raj... Uh, I assume you're being the human shield, uh, uh, the group number nine, the fighter group, uh, and the other individuals involved in fisticuffs 
do not appreciate you tromping through their territory. Oh, uh, you have now become a willing participant in the melee. Two right. drunken thugs using their fists uh, will have to be defeated in order to reach the far side and speak with the tavern owner. So, uh, odd chips even rise. The first one goes with a four, rise. Second one goes for chips with a one. Uh, initiative YouTube. Hmm. One. Seventeen. 19. Uh, these guys are drunk. Uh, and they appear to be off kilter. Chips, the first one swings at you. Uh, with a six, the wild haymaker goes askew, rise. Even worse, a three, this one nearly falls flat and is summarily conked on the head by one of the other participants with a beer bottle, causing him significant injury. Can I change my song? Uh, you can at the risk of losing the other 60%, but go ahead. I change it to closing time. <laughs> okay. okay. You got a one, so you don't get to go yet. Uh, 17, uh, Raj. Okay. Uh, so which one is, like, attacking me? The fighter? The ranger? The... No, it's not number nine. Oh, Okay. So, oh, it's not number nine. This is just, uh, this is totally different. Number nine is involved in the fight. Okay. All right. Well, who's ever accosting me, I'll defend myself with the quarter staff. So. Sure. Go ahead. Uh, let's see. That's uh, 20, not natural to hit. Oh, easily. Okay. And with that, uh, that is six points. <laughs> uh bludgeoning damage and uh bonus action unarmed strike with the trunk <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see to hit uh let's see 19 to hit oh yeah okay it's just one d4 plus four so it's okay you've already knocked him out seven points <laughs> he is unconscious d12 so the trunk just me. held up and just goes Duh! yep d12 Nine. Uh, let's see. He's twelve. Uh, three. Uh, you do not knock him into the ranger fighter and barbarian, aka number nine. Uh, Chips O'Toole, you have opted to change your song to closing time. Okay. Give me a performance check. Seventeen. Give me another percentage roll. Ninety. Nice. Uh, only ten percent of the population are still fighting, uh, probably because Raj knocked out one of them. However, Flynn, you have reached the bartender, who looks at you and says, uh, "Yeah, oh, got, yeah, you got, a, you got a dart in your head." Uh, arterial spray. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look over my shoulder and uh, kind of hurl it in the direction of the number nineteen. Attack roll, please. Dex uh, use your modifier. Uh, yeah, okay, seventeen. Oh, oh, very nice. So you're actually aiming at the number nineteen. Yeah, preferably the fighter if I've got a shot on him. Right. <laughs> I'll give you a fighter. Okay. Damage. One or two. Um, I'll just flip. I've been oh, trying it's a so one. hard to calm things down. That's a what? One? One. D6. Let's see where you shot him. Is a six the ass? Oh. A six is the ass. <laughs> Very it's nice. A hobo. The fighter now has a dart in his ass. And I'm going to turn around back to the bartender as quickly as I can so, and Miles, try nonchalance. Miles O'Feet wants to know what you want. Well, to be perfectly honest, what we want is um, the Brick's autograph. Um, but I would also like an ale. <clears throat> and I put a gold piece on the counter. He gives you the ale and he says, like I told your friends, he ain't no here. Friend. 
He's in the back. Go across the plaza in the back. Uh, he's at his friend's house. Oh. Why are they? Oh, sorry. I'm going to drink my pint. Nice. Take your time. D12 against me, then. Yeah. I've got to kind of nurse my head wound here. Sure. Uh, uh, that's a 12. Uh, that's a 9. Uh, the Ranger, the Barbarian, and the Fighter are still fighting as Chips O'Toole playing her lively tune and Raj make it across the way. Uh, Raj and Chips, fuckface, your associate is just drinking a beer. <laughs> well, I can't oh. ask anything if I'm still singing. Boy, Flynn! <laughs> the bricks and round back at the plaza. Around back of the at plaza? A, at his friend's house. Everybody perception check. Uh, 16. Keep forgetting it. 14. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, 15. All three of you notice the barbarian, the ranger, and the fighter are going towards the main entrance. The fighter is plucking a dart out of his ass and you overhear him say, quick, we got to beat him there. Oh. <laughs> Looks like they're trying to beat us to to the punch. So uh, Why were they fighting in the first place if they already told him that? Are you going to ask? Oh, I can't. I'm singing. <laughs> Everybody is sufficiently calmed down now. Okay, uh, I say, why the fuck were they fighting if they knew where he was? I don't know nothing. Nobody tells me nothing. Oh. Okay. So, uh, there's, so a, to... there's a trickle of blood going down Flynn's head. Flynn, <laughs> oh, you're okay? <laughs> uh, I seem to be acquiring new scars. Oh, I ask, oh. I ask uh, the bartender, do you know where the UCFC will be next? He's 12 against me. 11. 12. Now I don't know where it is next. I know where it was. Where was it? If you go outside the eastern gate, uh, it's in a place called, i.e. the far side of town, uh, the Shuck and Shell Tavern. Oh, no. Is that Shuck bad? Shuck and Shell Tavern. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it sounds like uh, that's a possibility for us to get the yeah. one of the items off our list. <laughs> uh, oh. If we can avoid can any more bar fights, question? it'd be great. I say, let's go hey, try you... to procure that from the UCFC because those assholes, they're so obnoxious. Yeah, the brick ain't going to sign shit for them. <laughs> hey, are there any objects in here with a rooster on it? Uh, there are not. There was, but... Uh... One of your associates there used it to crack somebody's head up. Yeah, oh, so it's broken. Uh, All right. Yeah, I say let's go get a pincher. It was on the flight of the dart that's in the ranger's ass. Right. <laughs> the Wait, right he snapped it off. Just yeah, remember, we gotta look for. His ass. <laughs> we gotta look and see if we can see Esmeralda's cart while we're traveling. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, as you guys. I mean, you're, you're crossing town again. Right. So, uh, let's see. Uh, Flynn and Chips, D20. Flynn first. 20. 19. Show up now. Uh, you cannot cross over the bridge because there is a dead oxen causing a gridlock with a tipped over cart. And courtesy of Chips O'Toole, it's raining again. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, then should we go to the docks and try to get some barnacles? I suppose. You are at this point. <laughs> or we're at the uh, plaza. That's true. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for the cart. Hopefully it's not the one that's tipped over <laughs> in the middle of the bridge. There is no gypsy witch type person here. So <clears throat> as you go back to the Jeebus Tavern, <clears throat> uh, you see Team Nine. Woo 
<laughs> they got uh, it. Gleeful that they have some kind of autograph. Uh, to your right is the marketplace, soaked to the gills. <laughs> to the left, you can look down the uh, sloping street and see the docks. Well, do we want to do the marketplace cause, and look for the rooster? Uh, sure, sure. Our chances would probably be good. We might find something. When you start to walk with a limp. <laughs> yeah. Your movement figure. will be cut in half. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Gimbal along behind them. You're you going to be okay, Matt? <laughs> uh, well, I, I could really use an hour to take a nap, but, you know, I can make it. We'll be all right. I mean... Sure. What I time mean, of day is it? We're looking pretty peaked. So About two o'clock. You can uh, uh, go to one of the eateries and hang out. Yeah, yeah. We'll go to a an eatery. Sure. Uh, sure. There's one called Spaghetti's nearby. Spaghetti sounds great. Let's do that. It serves Farmorian food, uh, oh. a pasta dish. Right. Oh, okay. Awesome. How much for the three of us to eat? Outside, oh, it's very, it's all you can eat for five gold pieces. Ooh. Comes with bread and uh, pasta. And they've got nice red and white checkered tablecloths out on oh, the Awesome. Eatery. And an umbrella so you can stay dry. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take yeah. an hour and rest. Do you have five gold? Yes. Not anymore. Uh you guys sit down and a very large, heaping Mario and Luigi type individual, uh, because clearly I'm a racist shit bird, uh, come over and... Uh, thank they, you. They are happy to... We uh, like a you. Uh, it's a nice for you to say. Uh, you know, one of them's name is Alphonse Capone. Um, okay. and, he, and he has a very noticeable scar along his jawline. But I know that served, other one. He's Guido Sarducci. Yeah, he serves food. No, that's my brother, the cleric. Uh, oh. everybody, everybody roll a con check. Let's see how you like the food at Spaghetti's. 19. Spaghetti's. Seven. Oh. Uh, plus four, 23, actually. I forgot. 23? Chips, what was yours? Seven. Yours had a Band-Aid in it. Uh, Raj? 24. Oh, yeah. These two love it. I mean, they're just shoveling it in. Oh, they yeah. Got, I got the they got fork. fucking tomato sauce all over I got the everything. fork in my truck, you know, mm. doing the, the, the turning. Okay. And, yeah. Yeah. That'll, that'll be... People are walking by, looking at you. The rain continues to pour. Chips, D20. Raj, D20. Oh. Uh, 18. <sighs> One. Uh... Raj, a mother petrified, comes up to you and asks if you've seen her child. Um, I look to the others and I look around. And, no, ma'am. <laughs> I've me, not seen a child. <laughs> give me an intelligence roll. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Well... Well, 12. Mm -hmm. uh, her description uh, given to you kind of reminds you of the kid that bumped into you on the bridge. Oh, oh, okay. Um, well, we, we, we saw a couple lads running across the, the bridge earlier today. One of them almost ran into me. Are you saying or, my child hit you? Oh, my child no. doesn't hit people. Perhaps your nose was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, that's what? just racist. <laughs> Inaccurate. Uh, I'm just Likely like, please, true. Please, I'm not offended. <laughs> and I hold up my my trunk <laughs> like I'm holding up my hand. Please, I'm uh, not offended. <laughs> Chips, the food does not agree with you, and Raj clearly has his hands full with this Karen. Uh, mm -hmm. An individual comes up to you and goes, what about a potion? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> He's wearing a very long coat, and inside the coat are sewn pockets, and he has a plethora of shit hanging inside it. 
uh, I say, what kind of potions do you have? I got all kinds of potions. For you, I've got a love potion. Oh, give me a fucking break. <laughs> I don't have one of those potions. You got anything I... in there with a rooster on it? <laughs> <laughs> of course and he does. yes, he unzips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you're watching all of this unfold, Karen is yelling for Raj's boss. Uh, <laughs> Please, Chips, go ahead. Just has a guy in a trench coat doing the helicopter in front of her, <laughs> and it is still raining. Flynn, why don't you roll a d22 just to make sure that this is just a mess? Uh, seven. Uh, and a drunk comes up to you. I remember you. 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 Saved you from drowning. Jim. Yes, that's it. You saved me from drowning in the river i love That's you right. man my name is van yeah van i, I remember van, you remember me by the river right by the river so, drowning uh raj you have a karen chip mm -hmm. you have a flasher flynn you have a drunk bothering you yeah and it has been an hour so if you want to roll a hit die yes cover <laughs> hit points Go i'll take i'll just take the average and that'll get me back to full I tell the flasher I've seen better than that <laughs> Persuade me She's right, you know, Daryl's was probably better than that <laughs> Larry, Larry Four Oh, Larry, Larry. Larry. Uh, You know what, I'll let you cast a vicious mockery on him for that comment <laughs> so, <laughs> so do your damage uh, How do I do that? I was uh, well, I make a saving throw, which I do not. Okay. It is seven, and you do psychic damage. One d four. That's it. Yeah, it's just vicious mockery. Four. Uh, his helicopter becomes a very small Aww. propeller, and he wanders off. Karen is still rifling Raj, and the drunk. Uh, is right in your grill, Flynn, and he stinks to high heaven. Hey. Might have even peed himself, so don't try and rub up against him too much. I lean over and I say, <clears throat> you know what? He saved you at the river. Karen over here was the one that pushed you in. Persuade me at advantage because I'm drunk. Oh. You saw it. She was there. Nine each time. He goes over and starts to verbally assault Karen, uh, who now takes offense with him. <laughs> at least he's not yelling at Raj anymore. You guys feel that you can make your... Yeah, I wasn't even game. paying attention, so... <laughs> I use my oh. trunk, grab my checkered napkin, wipe my face, and, <laughs> and say, Shelly? <laughs> Market or Doc? Uh, you guys call it. Market. <laughs> yeah, Market for sure. Uh, you guys start to head towards the market, and uh, the rain is not helping business at all, but there are still plenty of people around. Uh, as you guys look around, there are three rows of vendors. So, or I'm sorry, there's four rows of vendors, so there are three avenues. You may stay together, or you may each take an avenue to look for a cock. Or the gypsy. Or the gypsy. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> oh, yeah, God. I mean... Yeah, sure. sure. We could be perfectly safe in Cathaway splitting the party, right? Right. Right. <laughs> right. How far so away? Far it's paid off. How far away are the rows? Uh, you got booths in between, so. Could we see each other? Probably. Could we hear each other, even. It's uh, up to you guys. There, there are a lot of people there. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm uh, kind of short. Great. I mean, yeah. I am an elephant, so Horton can hear a who. So <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um. Yeah, let's not split up. <laughs> let's let's not. Let's Fair just enough. run them quickly as we can. 
Yeah. Five. Uh, Raj, a group of what appear to be cultists come up to you, kneel down in front of you. Oh. Oh. They encircle you completely. Oh, not again. And it appears as though you're going to have to step on one or ask them to move, but they are. Oh. Uh, they're looking at my saffron robes and all that. So yeah, just like, they, they are apparently worships of uh, what the hell did you call yourself? Yeah, uh, Lexadon. A Lexadon. So, yeah. Uh, uh, Chips, Flynn, uh, fucking Raj. Uh, <laughs> he's surrounded hey, Raj. by weirdos. <laughs> See if they can get you a rooster, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's just like ask them. Ask them to do your bidding. Ask them with getting you a rooster. <laughs> Namaste, brethren. <laughs> uh, uh, my fellows and I, uh, my fellow compatriots and I, we require, require. something. Uh, something emblazoned with a rooster. A screech is heard and a rumbling is noticed. Uh, everybody roll perception check. Oh, God, oh. this is going to hurt again, isn't it? Um, <laughs> 17. Oh, okay. Uh, Perception. Uh, yes, and, 18. 18. Uh, when Raj, you notice just down the row, people are being flung up into the air willy nilly, and the crowd mm. begins to part. Chips, you're trying to figure out why anybody would worship Raj. Uh, so you uh, don't notice nice the pair of rams pulling the cart out of control, <laughs> hell bent. For Kentucky, everybody roll initiative. I want to get out of the way. Sixteen. Uh, 20, 23 for Raj. Uh, eleven. Raj, uh, there are two giant rams pulling a fucking cart headed directly for you, and the cultists scatter except oh, for. Cowards. All of them. All of them are still worshiping you and do not see the two wow. rams coming. Oh no. <laughs> so you're you're up first. Okay. So I am trying to use my initiative rules to uh step in front of my brother and, and <laughs> protect them from the rams. <laughs> okay. So Fair I'm enough. like using the trunk and pushing one out of the way. <laughs> Give me a dexterity check to move them aside. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay, uh, 23, 17 plus six. You managed to get in front of them. Uh, okay. Next up, 16, as the Rams bear down on you, Chips, you and I tied. Uh, the Rams are gonna do some damage here. What do you wanna do? Uh, uh, uh. So I want to throw my dagger. Okay. Twelve plus that hits. sixteen. Okay. Mm -hmm. And one D four piercing damage. Which is not much. And I get a three. Not bad. Uh the Rams bear down. Ram one goes after six. Raj, Ram 2 goes after Chips, and the cart goes after Flynn. So, uh, Chips and Raj, you're going to get hit by the Rams, baby. Flynn, I need a dexterity save to either leap over the cart or flatten out and let the cart go over you. Uh, I have an 18 as my save. Okay. Are you jumping up or oh, going down? Leaping over, obviously. Fair enough. Uh, you do so quite dexterously as Chips O'Tools ran. Max 20, number four. Give me a strength save, and you are going to take some heat. I got an eight. You take seven hit points and are knocked into the crowd prone. Raj. Okay. 17 plus 5, 22. 
Give it me a strength hit. save. Okay. But only take four hit points of damage. Okay. Uh, strength save. Okay, 21. Uh, you were not knocked prone. You were just hit. Uh, Chips O'Toole is knocked prone. Flynn, uh, anything you do is going to be a disadvantage because you made your leap. So what would you like to do as the thundering, rampaging cart goes careening through the area? Well, if I stay still, the cart will continue on past me, right? That is correct. That is what I will do. Uh, all three of you, round two, hear, my baby! Uh, everybody, perception check. Of course. <laughs> nine. Also nine. Uh, Fourteen. Chips and Flynn, your vision is obscured, but you see an elderly woman who's screaming out, my baby, my baby. Raj, you notice uh, her baby is the drunk that was bothering Flynn. <laughs> Wait. The drunk that was bothering is <laughs> um, her baby oh okay and the okay. rams and cart are headed directly for him oh no <laughs> okay oh no i suppose right. we should do something yeah i'm laying on the ground so yeah team four appears these individuals you know is a warlock a cleric and a druid. Uh, these three leap into action. Uh, Flynn, he was your friend. D12 against me. Eight. Oh, uh, yeah, four. Uh, the cart hits him square uh, and sends him flying through the air. Uh, team four rushes forward to try and do healing. Uh, in doing so, what would you three like to do? The cart and the rams are headed down the street towards the docks. I got three hit points. I'm laying on the ground. I'm not doing shit. <laughs> I'm going, why the fuck did I come here? We've got it's teeth and assemble. How many points is that? <laughs> uh, the teeth. Larry's uh, going to come find me. Are four and the thimble is five. You got nine points. This is yeah. so bad. <laughs> uh, so... So they're no longer careening at us. They're just careening down the street. Okay, they're down past the us. Head, head okay. towards the dock. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I'm checking I'm checking the cultists to make sure they're fine. Fair uh, enough. Uh, as you guys check, uh, the entire marketplace is in disarray. Uh, a fat squat man uh, begins to chase after the rams. But he's hobbled with a bad leg. Uh, clearly, he's the owner of the cart and will later be sued by every barrister in the city of Cathaway. Of Everybody, perception check. Four. 18. 15 plus three is 18. Uh, 15. You can do math. Uh, Chips O'Toole, as the rain falls upon your face, you question whether or not you really should have become an adventurer. Flynn and Raj, you notice that the old hag is so grateful that they have saved her baby that she gives them a brass cock, a rooster. Uh, it. <laughs> the bells on the city tower sound indicating you guys are done with your challenge. Uh, That's funny. So you head back towards <sighs> the bridge. Fuckers. Uh, I, I I help everybody up, like Glenn and, you know, Chips and all that, sure. making sure they're okay, help straighten them out a little bit. And it's just like, well, let's let's get this over with. This I don't is know if I'll ever be okay again. This is a hell of a graduation. <laughs> Only six teams show up. Everybody, except for Team 4, looks pretty badly beaten up, including the individuals who got... Uh, the bricks autograph. So, six teams. You will each roll twice against me. Chips O'Toole, D12. 11. 
Oh, I landed on its edge. Ten. Close. Uh, Flynn, D12. Nine. Seven. Uh, Rob. Six. Eleven. Chips. Three. Eight. <laughs> uh, Flynn. Twelve. Ten. Two pointer. Uh, Rob. Two. Seven. Seven eleven. There we go. And fifteen. Oh. <laughs> See, it's right here, my fortune cookie. <laughs> so it was a uh, hell of a day. It oh. was. I guess we're just welding, waiting for the elders to oh, tally everything up. At least we got a good meal out of it. Yep. Yeah, uh, we did. you guys did. I had a band aid. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Only one of the other six teams came away with nothing, and they look the worst for wear. Uh, the cleric team, team four, only got one item, and it was worth three points. Uh, it, too, was the autograph of Dwayne Johnson. Boy, he's just easy, asshole. Uh, six, Team Six, points out that they also had an autograph, but lost it after speaking with Esmeralda. <laughs> uh, team One points out that they also saw Esmeralda. They received an extra autograph from Dwayne of uh, the Brick Johnson. Nice. And they had a gambling token from Archibald Meat Pants. Uh, you guys, with nine points, clearly blew out the competition. Woo! And the Chancellor Woo! declares you the winner. Uh, there will be no extra points <laughs> added to Gryffindor. You have successfully beaten your associates by one point. Uh, yeah, the cleric, the druid, and the warlock uh, congratulate you on a job well done. They are the second place team. Yeah, and I bow to them. <laughs> right the, on. The rooster yeah. uh, was only worth two points and not three. Uh, clearly, they could have uh, handled it differently, but they chose not to. So with nine points, uh, you guys got it. Flynn, you're going to be cursed because that thimble is fucking cursed. So, uh, all things considered, you will be hailed as heroes <laughs> and you will be allowed to graduate tomorrow. Oh, gee, thanks. There's, uh, as for the other teams, they, like you, need a drink. Anybody want to buy for them? Flynn? I don't have money. Yeah. I think Flynn's the only one with any money. Flynn, oh, 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 oh. We've got some place to be. Uh, how close is it to sundown? <laughs> Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, okay. I thought that was After tomorrow. graduation. That's right. Okay, so we're having a graduation party over at Salty's. Yes. Now, Chips, D12 against me to see if the Larry brothers are going to show up. <sighs> Fuck. Nine. Oh shit! What did he roll? I don't know, but I've had to add thimble curse eight, to my eight. character sheet. <laughs> the um, Larry Brothers will not be there. Oof, thank goodness. Thank God. <laughs> so you have escaped your love life. Uh, ended a little bit early, just because there's no way you guys could have done another fight. Oh, uh, David, what'd you think? I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. It was fun. Rob? I got my ass kicked a lot. <laughs> it, it was yeah. still fun. You got a dart in your head. Yeah, that too. You can be I have played player. this one before, but I did not remember almost 90% of this stuff. So, <laughs> so uh, 
Well, with Asimov, it was not the main focus. So. No, no, no. You get you guys did manage to dodge the press gang. Uh, Carrie, yeah. what'd you think? That was fun. It was super cute. I liked it. Mm-hmm. There, you, there you go, folks. So if you want to be in a one shot like these guys were tonight, uh, hit us up at mhobo inc Twitter or Gmail. We can do that. Don't forget, we also have our talk shows on Tuesday. You can also follow us at Twitch, follow us at Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. Uh, you can uh, buy our crap, our cool crap, quality crap at our store. Crap. Uh, somewhere I have women's panties for sale. Oh, my uh, God, seriously. Seriously. Uh, I forget what that link is. I haven't uh, dealt with that, but they're kind of cute. Uh, they don't have thongs yet, so if you're a thong connoisseur, no deal. Uh, but the others have cute designs on them. Uh, yeah. Uh, folks, we hope you had a great Thanksgiving. We look forward to a few more episodes here before the Christmas uh, break. Uh, and next year, we have both Murder Hobo Con 2 and a new layout for Iron DM, which we think you will like. So oh, yeah. from all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we appreciate your time. We hope you have a great evening. Uh, and we will see you soon. Everybody, kiss and wave. Mwah. Thanks, everybody. Take us home, producer. Thank sure.